Have you been paying attention at all? Do you understand the enormity of my situation? If Cindy heard half the things that I said on that butt dial, she's gonna be very angry. And trust me, you do not want to see her when she's angry. Her eyes go black like a shark. <gasps> Hello, Brick. You called me? Oh, did I? Um, let's check my call history. Uh, let's see, I made two calls this month. One to Troy, and one to, oh yeah, you. I couldn't hear anything that you said. That's why I came over. Wait, so you didn't hear me at all? No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm breaking up with you. We're in a rut. Your ears don't do it for me anymore. It's dead, it's over, it's done. Brick, are you sure that this is the right time? And place? What are you talking about? You guys are the ones who told me that I was overthinking and to just break up with her already. So this was their idea? Yes. Is this because your mom is so controlling and your dad has no emotional depth? Yes. Is it because your brother and sister sucked up all your parents' love and they didn't leave any for you? Yes. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't put this all on us. And you could have put a little more effort into your Planet Nowhere test. I can't believe this is happening. And right at the beginning of our big sophomore year. Did we miss something? And to think I let you see me hatless. I'm white with rage right now. Now, if she threw a baguette at his head, this could have totally happened on the street in Paris. You destroyed our love. Now, I'll destroy something you love. No, not the microfiche! <gasps> Ow! Damn it! I just got rid of my other bruise.